to you wherever you are in the world. Uh, today's um, video is um, very simple and um, direct. Uh, it's about uh, what are the ethical issues uh, that comes with the use of um, AI uh, in uh, academic um, work, especially science, scientific writing and publication. Uh, we all know that um, AI models like uh, ChatGPT, Grammarly, and citation generators are now being used uh, by a lot of students and researchers worldwide. And why these uh, tools are very fast, they are boosting our productivity. They also come with a number of um, ethical concerns around things like plagiarism, authorship, transparency, and scientific integrity. Uh, the, que the big question still lies if people are using them ethically. So in this video, um, I have decided to explore the do's and don'ts in academic AI usage and uh, try to discuss um, the core principles of using AI ethically in any academic uh, settings. Uh, before we go into that, uh, just a brief um, overview of some of the tools that uh, can actually make you run into issues, ethical issues. Uh, ChatGPT, Cloud, Germany, these are language generators, right? And um, people just use them for ideation, for generating ideas, for writing articles without properly validating uh, what they are being given. Grammarly and Quillbot are used by people to refine AI generated um, text just for them to look more human, right? But there are still a lot of giveaways and there are so many ways that AI text are structured that an experienced reviewer or editor can pick it up and tell you this is AI written. The same way goes with citations and referencing. There are a number of tools out there that are replacing automated um, uh, referencing managers like uh, Zotero, EndNote, uh, PaperPal and the likes and they just give you web scrapped uh, references that are not validated. So a lot of references these days are fake unauthenticated uh, references. And also Copilot and Elicit, they also do a number of coding, right? And they also do literature review, which people don't take time to validate. So, in my opinion, these are some of the tools that students are using a lot, researchers are using a lot, and they are using them to create problems, uh, ethical problems in the academia. So, what are the principal ethical guidelines for AI use? One is that you must always disclose AI assistance in your work. Well, if you use AI to refine text, you must say it. If you have used AI to draw your models, you must say it. You must acknowledge it. You must disclose it. In fact, these days, when you go on a number of um, publishing platforms, the first thing before submission is that they, they, there is a declaration page where you have to tell them about the use of AI in your work. It is very, very wrong to list AI as a co-author. A number of people have done that before before the issues of ethics become become quite um, uh, every, uh, an issue everywhere, they will write a paper, put their name, and say ChatGPT as co-pilot. That is wrong. AI cannot take accountability, cannot take responsibility for your findings, and as such cannot be listed as a co-author. Uh, you use AI as a helper and not as a replacement. Um, you must remain the author of the thought process and also the interpretation of your work. AI cannot do your interpretation for you. Even if you have been provided a kind of a discussion or interpretation of your work, it is still your prerogative to understand, to validate and to also uh, confirm what has been said to you. So which means you have to be transparent with your audience by declaring the use of AI in your research and you must always verify citations and disclose any AI assistance where it is required. Hence, the last part is that you must, your work must remain original as much as possible and while the intellectual contribution is solely yours. 
right so what are the risk of um, misusing AI in research one is plagiarism uh, plagiarism is a is a grave uh, sin in academy in the academia in the academic world it is simply theft stealing other people's idea without giving them proper acknowledgement and when we use this for AI tools we are more or less plagiarism plagiarizing other people's idea we are more or less stealing other people's idea and involved in plagiarism so and with the use of ai it's becoming so rampant they are because it's you have so many unintentional duplications here and there people are using ai carelessly which are leading to plagiarism issues a lot fabricated references a lot of that as is happening here and there you see references that, that you cannot even find even some ai tools will give you digital object index numbers which are totally wrong and use search for them online you can't find the articles you can never find the articles and some are even in the practice of giving you the doi numbers of a different article for a cited one so which means there is a conflict of um, interest there so you often ended up with hallucinated fact especially when you ask the AI to, to write um, everything for you. Uh, you are breaching research ethics policies by doing all of this and your papers or your work, they have potential to be retracted or face disciplinary actions, right? Uh, some of the uh, real life examples that we've had are where people were making fake citations, especially in the legal um, space uh, with um, some of some my lawyers using fake cases in court to defend themselves or giving say, citations to cases in court. These were highly reported in places like the US. <coughs> like the US. We also have witnessed a lot of bias in AI data sets and models. We are AI with downgrade numbers and give you numbers that are not real, right? These are examples from gender shade studies um, where there were high error rates for dark skinned women versus uh, light skinned men. In Amazon hiring AI 2018, we have female candidates were degraded to, due to historical bias, right? And then this last one also. The last case that is also common is AI assisted plagiarism and fabrication in, in research. And a number of people have been fooled by abstracts written by a by ChatGPT that even the plagiarism detectors themselves cannot find or human reviewers cannot find. And there are a lot of uh, AI generated abstracts that are not even verifiable. So you have um, tools like uh, ChatGPT asking you if I should write an abstract for a paper or if you already have an idea and the first thing you you see is should i write abstract for a can i go ahead and write the methods you, in that way you're trading confidence for integrity and honesty so what are the best practices uh for the use of ai what are the ethical the best practices for ethical use of uh, uh, ai you, one is that you must have the mindset that ai is a research assistant for support it's not going to substitute the human face or human intelligence and you must verify and review all AI generated content that you get. You must also stay informed about the policies of your university in terms of or institutions in terms of the use of our AI and then back to one you must prioritize integrity over convenience. It is very very convenient to ask an AI to to write your paper from A to Z because you think it's a faster uh, route or st fast track for you. So my advice is very simple. Use AI to assist, not to replace critical thinking. Cross-check all generated citations. Respect privacy and intellectual property. Whether we like it or not, AI is here to stay. Also is academic ethics. So we must comply. The best researchers, in my opinion, will use AI responsibly as a tool to enhance their thinking, not to replace the human intelligence. And they will be transparent, they will be honest, and they will be original. 
in their in their submissions. Um, this is uh, Dr. Kamaldino Mosunya, aka Dr. Kum, signing out from here.